Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, we will take a first look at the new mobile offline experience for Canvas Power Apps. With a few simple clicks, we can enable offline capabilities wherein we can work with our data with or without an internet connection. With simple configurations, a new screen template, and in a matter of minutes, we can create offline Canvas apps. So let's check this out in action. We can now work with our Canvas apps in offline mode. This is an offline first experience where we can work with our Canvas Power App even when we don't have internet access. We can make changes to our data and once we are back online, it will automatically synchronize the data back to our data source. All the calls to Dataverse data are executed against a local database mirroring the Dataverse server and are scoped to the need of the app. To begin with, I have a table in Dataverse called Music Instruments. I have some data in this table. I will head over to Properties, Advanced Options, and we need to ensure that the rows in this table can be taken offline. And I will click Save. Next, I will create my Canvas app. The app must be in a solution. So I'll head over to Solutions. Create a new solution. I'll give my solution a name. Pick a publisher and click Create. And in the solution, I will go ahead and create a new Canvas app. I'll give my app a name. Pick the format for the app. I've picked phone and I will go ahead and click Create. Go ahead and save the Power App. To leverage the new Canvas Offline feature set, we need to ensure that the app has a specific authoring version. So I'll go to Settings, go to Support, App Authoring Version, click Edit, and we need to ensure that the authoring version is 3.23053 or greater. So I'll pick this one and click Reload and Apply. This will begin the process of reloading the edit experience for the Power App. And once that is done, do go back and ensure that the authoring version is updated. If not, then reapply it. Once we have the correct authoring version applied, I can go to Upcoming Features, search for Offline under Experimental. We have Dataverse Offline, so I'll enable this. I'll go back to General. And here we have a new option that says Can be used offline. I will turn this on. And it will do two things at this point. One, it will automatically generate an offline profile for the app. We can see it says Auto Generated, so I'll close this. And it will go ahead and create a screen based on a new template that the app will get. And this template has an icon whose icon property will change depending upon an object that's available called connection. If Sync says connected, meaning I'm connected to the internet. So it will display a specific icon. Also, if you select this icon, it once again leverages that connection.sync property to give us details about the different types of values in connection sync, whether there are some pending updates to be synchronized and so and so forth. Screen one, I will go ahead and delete. So I'll leverage screen two as my landing screen. I'll give name by updating the text for this label. And in the main section, I would like to insert a gallery 
that is connected to my table which is music instruments so i'll select this the table is connected in the app and for this main section container i will insert a vertical gallery there are certain things that are currently not supported images is one of them so keep in mind for now ensure that you pick the layout as title and subtitle my data source would be music instruments i would like to show the name of the instrument show the price now when the user selects this icon i would like to allow the user to make changes to the data i will go ahead and insert a new screen notice if i go to templates i will get a template for offline so i will take advantage of that template and select this in the main container for this screen i will insert edit form control connect this to my data source go to edit fields and i'll add the fields that i would like the user to make changes to so name price and type and for the item property of this form i will use gallery dot selected this is the gallery on my home screen in this main section container i will insert a button center align it change its text to submit and on select i will go ahead and submit form and put in the name of the form control and when the form control submits successfully i would like to navigate the user to my home screen which is screen 2 in my case and from this specific screen when the user clicks on this icon all i have to do is navigate the user to my form screen which is screen 3 so if i preview and let's say i pick piano here i have the option to change the price change it from 200 to 500 click submit and we can see the changes reflected now this app is configured for offline so i'll go ahead and click publish running power apps on my mobile device and right at the top is my app called music instruments now if i click music instruments notice the message it says at the bottom is getting the app ready for offline use so this is the initial load of the power app and at the top i get a message that this app may be used without an internet connection now at this point if i do not have access to the internet notice how i get a message that says no internet and this icon changes if i select it it gives me the message that my device is not connected to the network but i can keep using the app i'll select drums it takes me to the form and let's make a change i'll change the price from 150 to 250 and i will submit drums value is 250 even though i am offline if you observe the icon it's changed if i click that it says some data on your device must be synchronized with the server so i need to reconnect to the network in order to synchronize so when i am connected the synchronization process will immediately start and observe at the bottom it says reconnected my device is connected to the network and it's gone ahead and synced the data back to the server i'm offline let's pick piano let's change the price from 500 to 400 i'll submit i have no internet and i have pending changes let's say i close this app later on when i come back in network i will launch that app and when i do that it starts performing the sync it's a delta sync that takes place
I have another solution called Contacts Management that has a power app called Contacts. This app is connected to the contact table, which has the can be taken offline feature active. The app authoring version is set. The offline feature is on, can be taken offline on, offline profile auto generated. The form factor for this app is tablet. Here as well, we have the offline template. The app supports full CRUD operations. So let's test this app in offline mode. And I will run this in the Power Apps app on desktop. So here's my app called Contacts. I'll select this. Notice it's getting the app ready for offline use. I am connected to the internet. No internet connection now. Rafael Nadal, I'll edit. And let's say I change this department to HR. I save. So that's an update. Smith, let's go ahead and delete. And I'll go ahead and create a new record. And I will submit. So I have plenty of changes that I made that must be synchronized with the server. As soon as I go online, we can see the sync is currently in progress. So all those updates that I made is being synced. And once it's successful, the icon changes back to connected. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.